Since retiring, Beaufort, South Carolina resident Lewis Tab has tangled with a veritable snake pit of email and phone scammers. They're the obvious ones that look like uh, you want to sweepstakes or uh, yeah, the uh, ones that you probably shouldn't pick up the Russian bride. He's avoided all the scams with one simple approach, by relying on the caller ID function on his phone. If the person's name doesn't come up on caller ID or I don't recognize the number, I just don't answer. And I figure if they know who I am, I want to leave a message or it's important, they'll leave a message. If they don't, then it's somebody I don't need to talk to. Daisha Hicks is a specialist with the Area Agency on Aging that helps seniors throughout the South Carolina Low Country. She has some additional warnings about unscrupulous callers. Medicare nor Social Security will ever call you. You must contact them first. So if someone's calling be like, your Medicare is going to be canceled if you don't order this back brace. It's an untrue. Hang up the phone. Simply hang up. If Social Security calls you, hang up. It's an untrue. And there is one more warning here. If someone calls you and asks you your first and last name, ask them who's calling first instead of saying yes, because your yes could be recorded as if you're agreeing, for, agreeing to something. Oh, my. That is so they call you up and say, is this Joe Jones? Yes. Yes. And now you're recorded as have ordered a back brace. Well, because these scams have become so common, your best bet is to ignore unknown callers. Rely on caller ID to screen calls and allow unknown calls to go to voicemail. Otherwise, you could call fall victim to something called a grandparent scam. The FTC says 